So we are here at the booth of Nexa 3D and hello. Hi. <laughs> you told me that you have the fastest resin 3D printer in the world. Uh, please explain this to me. Sure. Sure. Yeah. So um, think of it like a DLP in the fact that it projects a light engine through a 4K LCD screen mm -hmm. uh, and it projects that onto the build plate through a lubricated membrane layer and that's mm -hmm. what gives us the fast speed. So on most SLA prints. If you do have a failure, it's because yeah. it sticks to the bottom of the build tray instead of, or it sticks to the bottom of the resin vat instead of on the build tray. With this one, because this is such a low friction uh, lubricated layer, it's able to release in a fraction of the amount of time as it would with anyone else. So it doesn't have to cure as far for it to be able to uh, release off of it. These layers last for about 50,000 print layers, sometimes more, sometimes less, depending on what you're doing mm -hmm. and the uh, geometries. When you do go to switch it out, it's four of those clasps. What? And you can, you can uh, put out this complete fab film with one, two clicks? With, we have four, one on each side, and that would replace it, and they last about six months, depending on how much you're printing. That's crazy, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> if you do have a puncture in the screen, and let's say it leaks into the LCD, because I know that we had talked about that uh, yeah. previously, if for whatever reason this breaks, or if we ever have an upgrade in the future, it's just four set screws, and you can take out the whole LCD. And we did that so that hopefully you don't have to replace the whole printer in the future, you just uh, have to replace the parts that are upgraded or broken, and uh, then the machine continues to go on on its own without having to, to need to replace the whole thing. I should have had one uh, when I used my Elego mask because my Elego mask was completely ruined when resin was leaking into it. Um, mm -hmm. How fast does it print? So on the fastest material, print, uh, printing at the fastest speed, uh, it's able to print in under a second per layer. Okay, that's crazy. Um, and what materials can you print with the machine? Can you print, for example, a dental ceramic also? Yeah, so we have dental, and actually for this show, we're releasing uh, three new materials. We have a uh, Model 17 Clear, and that is a uh, semi-translucent uh, layer that gets more clear the more you polish it, as you'd expect. Uh, we have a new rubber material, and we have a ceramic material, and we're calling it ceramic. Uh, it's still a resin-based uh, polymer, however, it reaches 280 degrees Celsius, and so with it being the higher temperature, we're calling it ceramic. Um, it does have ceramic uh, particles in the resin itself. Okay. And mm -hmm. the models that you showed us before in here yes. in front of us, the check models, uh, these are all printed on this printer and with the different materials that you talked about earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. So those those are all printed in a ABS, a um, the new rubber material, which is the 475, a ceramic, and uh, we have a X. Pro 410 material in there as well. Okay, I see one interesting looking feature that is, can you put out the bottle during the print so that you can change the bottle if it's not enough resin in there? So we've actually gone one step further than that in that this the front of this build tray actually has a, a resin spillover that sits underneath a, uh, a sensor so that when you start the print, it'll do a scan and see if you have enough resin before you even start. So that way, if you start the print uh, and it says that you need more resin, that means it wouldn't be able to complete the print without more. That's so cool. Thank yeah. you very much. Quite welcome.